Hi paper crafters, welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Centre Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. So I've been wanting to play with this supremely awesome stamp set for a little while. So I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy it as well. It's one that I think you can use for a bunch of different things, but it's great for Valentine's. So we're going to use it today to make a Valentine's pillow box treat holder. So let's first of all start with the pillow boxes. We are going to stamp directly onto the side that has the tape on it, that has the adhesive backing, because this is the outside of the box. So when you have a bigger stamp than your stamp pad, you want to turn your stamp over and we're going to stamp directly on top. Now you're going to go right over top of this glue part, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to give you a hint for what to do next. Okay, and it's going to look sort of weird here because this is plastic. It's also going to look just a little bit different here because this is where all the score lines are. So don't worry about that. Now we're stamping everywhere. It's going to start and end in different places. Perfectly fine. We're also going to do the other side. So when you get it done, there is and isn't a right and a wrong side to this. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. We're going to put that aside and we're going to come back to this a little bit later. Okay, so we are going to stamp with our Memento Black and I'm putting, leaving this under here because I'm going to color with our Stampin' Blends. So let's go for this guy here and I'm going to do a couple of them and we'll see what we end up using. And we're going to use this guy right here and again we'll see what we end up using so let's just let's just try oh not bad she's doing okay today put that over there so this is pecan pie so I found on the one that I did I think I I made the wrong kind of color on the pizza there was only sauce so I've got um, some green here, I've got some crumb cake for the mushrooms, I've green will be for our basil, I've got some real red for our um, uh, pepperoni, and then I've also got basic black for our olives. So we're going to go ahead and do all of these, and I'm going to use yellow for the base of the pizza, and I'm going to use crumb cake and pecan pie for the outside. Okay, so that's what we're going for. So let's just see what it ends up looking like. So let's just do a little bit of coloring here. So pecan pie we're going to start with. And I'm going to do a few different spots. And I do find that I'm using my bullet tip an awful lot instead of the brush tip. Part of the reason for that is that I just find that some of the ink doesn't come out as quickly and I also have one, and I'll show you in just a minute, um, the crumb cake actually, where it the brush tip has got way, way too much alcohol on it. And I don't know if you found with any that you have the same thing, but it actually sort of, uh, when I put the dark on first, it almost takes away almost all the color. It's like it's the, the, color, the color lifter. So I find that I use my bullet tip for that one. Now, if that ha happens to you, you know, I bought a couple of these and I don't know when I bought them, but if it happens to you and it's new, uh, certainly give Stampin' Up! a call or give me a call if you purchased, purchased it through me because we can get you, get you a new one. So I just want to show you. So this is the, this is the dark, okay? This is the light. And see what it does? It just, it's like there's just too much alcohol in there on the brush one. So that's what I mean. So if you see that happen to yours, then um, just, you know, call Stampin' Up! and get another one because it's not working properly. Okay, so I'm going to use this for the, um, these little bits here, just so it's a brighter green. And I don't even know, these could be onions, I suppose. You know what? In a pizza, it can be whatever we want, right? This is our pizza. Or it's a pizza that we're giving somebody. And I'm going to go in here with the 
green and pull those colors out just a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too dark what I had going on there. And that was Old Olive. Okay, there's that. Let's go in with some real red. And it's going to be on the pepperoni. I'm just going to give some shading here to our little pizza guy. So there's a lot of cheese on this particular pizza. So now I'm just going to cut these out. Okay, I'm just going to fussy cut them and then we're going to put them onto something, but I want to show you how we're going to make a really cute tag for this pillow box. And our box is drying. I'm going to give you a hint on that uh, adhesive backing. Okay, so there are our pieces. So I think I told you what all the colors were there. So I'm going to turn this into a flagged, Piece, but I'm going to give myself enough room so I can decide which way I want the flag to go later. So I'm going to make this a piece about like this so I can decide later if I want my flag to be here or my flag to be here. Okay, we are going to use our deckled circle. Now you can make a card in this way or you can make a tag. Okay, so the uh, we right now are going to be making a tag and the size that I'm making, I think is this one. So I have a piece of my real red. This was just a scrap out of my scrap drawer that I scored in half. And you can see that it's all sort of bent on the edge, but we are going to make a tag. And so what you want to do when you're making the tag is you want to put in your, uh, put on your a die, but you want to leave yourself that you're going to go over top of the fold right here. And you put this in. So make sure that it all fits on there and you've got this piece caught, I'm going to say. Okay, so caught meaning that you have some that is not going to be on the paper at all. And when you put on your pad, just make sure it doesn't move. So Here's our tag, okay, and that goes away. Now I've cut, this is what I did in advance. I've cut a white, which is one size smaller, and that's just gonna go into the middle of our tag, and we can go ahead and do that now. Just with some liquid glue. Okay, so now we need to decorate. So I want to pull in my paper. You may feel that it's okay just if you are a demonstrator that you can go right onto the glass mat. And we don't know yet, I've had lots of people ask me, is the glass mat going to be available to customers? We have not heard that they will be available to customers. Um, so if you really, really want one, then you probably want to think about joining as a demonstrator during the months of January, which is almost done, and February, <clears throat> because then you get it free if you want it. Okay, so I'm going to create a flag on this guy right here using my paper snips. Now this one here is... Um, is something that if you've never done this before, then what you want to do is you want to go take the middle point on the edge and go in maybe, well, really it's up to you. I go in about a quarter of an inch maybe, and then you're going to go from one edge to that where you've just cut, where it ends, and it should fall out, and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So that's going to give you as... Uh, even a flag is possible. I'll get those guys out of the way. I'm going to put these guys on first and I'm going to glue that down. Now I want to hide this edge. So I want to hide it so that our pizza is going to go first of all over top of our little oops and then it's going to go over top of our edge. Okay. 
So we can glue this down. We're not gonna use dimensionals for this, but we are gonna use dimensionals for the pizzas. And then we're gonna put it all together. So I just need two, I think, on each of these guys here. First one, I think I had it this way. And then this guy. I want to make sure that I that we don't see now that to me if I put it this way that just looks too too much like I'm trying to mimic this so I want to have this one go at a different angle than that one so I'm going to tuck it underneath there and I have some more that I want to put on there before we decide if we're going to put this one on or not so I wanted to decorate it a little bit more so how many of you have noticed this paper in the celebration catalog? They're a brochure. So this paper is called the Most Adored Specialty Paper. And this is, it's gorgeous paper. And you can use it certainly for Valentine's, like we're gonna use it today, because it's got gold on this side and they're all different designs. Nice shiny gold. This one I really like. This guy here, and then on the back, we have all different, very Valentine-y types of things. But again, Valentine's, Valentine's, maybe Valentine's, everything else doesn't necessarily need to be Valentine's. So I just wanted some scraps. So this is free. So you get 12 pieces of this free with a $160 order right now during the celebration. So you want to be thinking about getting some of that because it is beautiful, beautiful paper. And next week on my blog, Karen, who actually is here right now, uh, created some gorgeous cards using some of that paper. So this is just a scrap piece that I had left over and I'm gonna cut myself a little heart and we're gonna decide if we use it with the gold side or the other side. In fact, maybe I'll cut two. And I think maybe, what do we want? I think maybe the pecan pie is gonna be a little nicer. Now that I put them all on. And then you guys get to pick what the embellishments are that we're going to use. And which one do I like better? I actually like that one a little bit better and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So this guy here just has a couple stripes, pink stripes on him. This one here, has pink stripes and then has the white stripe going across. So we're gonna take these off. Now, if these ones are too small for you to get in there and take off, then use your take your pick tool and lift it off. And then what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put one of them up here. I think I'm gonna put one of them up there. We're gonna put this guy here on the got a pizza my heart and this one here is going to go down here maybe right there now I could have stamped it right on top of here but seeing that we've got it's always nice to have a little bit more dimension so let's put this guy because the pizzas are on this side on the left hand side here I'm going to put this on the right hand side but which way do I want it to go I think maybe I do want it to go this way there we go and I want, I'm gonna put this guy right here. Oh, I've got some fuzz. Fuzz, ooh, fuzz, how did I get fuzz? Maybe for my sweater. Guy there. And let's put this guy, ooh, let's see, where are we gonna put this guy? I'm gonna put this guy up here. And I just do, no, I wanna do three. There we go. Hide them in behind. Okay, so there's our tag. Okay, that guy's done. So now what we want to do is finish off our, our um, box here. So now this box has dried. Okay, it does need to dry a little bit. Take a tissue and very carefully wipe off the ink that's on here. It will not dry on there. So what'll happen is you'll get it all over yourself like I usually do. So just wipe it off before you start to put this box together. And even if you wipe it off, you may still get a little bit, but try and limit your wiping just to the adhesive backing. 
Okay, so now what you have is we have these wonderful little uh, scorer lines already here for us. So it makes it super easy to make this. And it's a good size pillow box. It's not like super small. And you can fit some goodies in here. So I've got some goodies here. I'm gonna show you what I put in. Okay, so get it all sort of ready to go. And then what's gonna happen is these two pieces are gonna go on the inside, okay? And then it's gonna fold up like this, okay? So take this off. Take the other one off at the same time. And then what I found to be the easiest is to put this in, and there's lots of sticks, so you don't have to worry. And then just line it up, actually, this way, so I have use of my hands. Okay, and then just line them up so that the edge here goes along with the score line. Now, does anybody have some of these boxes and have played around and made some cool things with it? I've got one that I'm gonna show you where I've colored it. Okay, so then there are nice little finger holes already on here. Oh, and I forgot to fold that one. But it folds down super easy. Now what I have found that works really well is, what I do like to do rather, is I like to have the finger hold going away, having the front like this so the finger hold is here. And, and you can also, if you wanted, just have it open. Okay, so it could be open if you wanted. But now what are we gonna put in there? Well, I've got some little nuggets. And did you know that in Canada we can get nuggets again? So go out, I found them at Superstore. So you might have them in different places. I did not look anywhere else because I was just so happy that I had them in Superstore, but I wanna show you how to wrap one. So all you need is a piece of designer paper or whatever, yeah, designer paper I'm gonna say is gonna be your best bet. And it needs to be one by three. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap it around the nugget. And what works for me best is to take my seal, which is right here, and I'm gonna try and get my seal as, I'm gonna do a red one, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll do a red one. I wanna get it as close as possible to the edge. Okay, so you can't see that probably, but it's pretty close to the edge. And then I'm gonna turn my nugget upside down. I'm gonna bring a cost, a bring, I said I wanted to do the red, didn't I? If I had wanted to do the red, then I needed to turn it over and put the glue on my gold. So we're getting a gold one, which is okay because we've got a gold nugget. So turn it over and then, see I shouldn't be talking, and then just really get it as tight as you can and just bring it across, okay? And then there's your nugget. So I found that I mixed in some of these little hearts and you just fill them in. I think, what did I have, five of each here? And you can see that you can fit a lot in there. So I'm gonna close that up. Now you can decide which one you want for the front. So last time I think I had this one, no, I just, I think I had that one for the front. But if you like this one better, put this one on the front. Just change your top. Okay, how are we going to get the tag on there? We're going to use some ribbon. So you do need a good amount of ribbon. So what I do is I work off the roll for the ribbon. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna put it around, now this is a good weight. So you're gonna put it around the pillow box. I've got a lot of ribbon here. I got way too much ribbon. So let me get rid of some of it here. You need about 20 inches, I think. And you're not gonna glue this or anything. You are going to place the ribbon. Now had we, oh, how cool would that have been? Had we done black racing stripes, it would have been perfect. You're gonna place that right in the fold of your tag. And this way you don't have to glue it or anything, okay? Now I'm gonna cut that off because that's about the right amount of ribbon. And then we are just going to do that in a bow. And yes, sorry, it doesn't have to be a bow. Could just be a, um, a knot if you like. But just get that on there. Play with your bow a little bit maybe, but I wouldn't worry too, too much about it. Okay, so there's your bow. 
And then there is your little gift. And that actually is a pretty hefty gift. So um, this is really quite fun. I want to show you the one that I did make in advance. So these are, I love these. These are really quite cute. You could make up a bunch for kids for our Valentine's for special friends, uh, grandchildren. And uh, this is the one that I made in advance. So this one here does have the guy on it. So the guy is on the other side and also I did use the sequins on this one. And I went a little lighter here. I went with the crumb cake and the different colored ribbon. Thanks very much for joining me. Please like the video and subscribe if you'd like to. Also join my email list where you can get exclusive ideas from me every week. Thanks very much. Have a great paper crafting day.